Hello students, this is Mrs. Jones again, and today I'm here to talk about the half inch um, architectural rule. And it's used very similar to the quarter inch scale, but there are a few differences. Um, just like the quarter inch scale, it, this little section has to deal with your inches, and then this section up here has to do with your feet. Um, you'll notice that there's a 10, a 9, an 8, a 7, 6. Those numbers are going down. They actually are with the scale that's going the other direction on the ruler. For the half inch scale, you're going to be paying attention to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on and so on. And you, I went off screen. Um, in the half inch scale, I'm going to try to zoom this in so you can see it. Oh, hey, can I do that? I can do that. Look at that. So, in the half inch scale, this whole section actually still represents a foot, which represents 12 inches altogether. We have these bigger lines and then these little teeny lines in between. The little teeny lines represent half inches. So we've got half, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, and so on until you get to twelve. Okay? To maybe help you out, just describe that a little bit more. I have a worksheet here um, that has this section completely blown up. <coughs> so from the zero point, this would be half and one, and then the little tiny line would be one and a half, two, two and a half, three. So everybody understand that and then so on it keeps going until you get the whole way to the end of it let's do a couple examples on my sheet here so with the half inch scale I remember I'm using these little smaller numbers here so I need to pick a line and I can use that eight, and I'll show you how, what that means here in a minute. And let's get this back out a little bit. So when I line up on that eight, it's not actually eight. That line is doing double duty. See, we have two. This would actually be three, four, five. So this represents five feet. And then if we zoom in, on that little section right there. There we go. Where do we think this ends at? I'm thinking it's pretty close. It's probably closer to this line right here. So that represents a whole inch. And what inch is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this would this line would represent or be closest to five feet ten inches. Okay, let's do example number two. So we pick a line, pick a spot to line up with on the far end on the foot section, so that it ends in the little inch section over there. So we're I'm going to line up with that number seven. That seven's not necessarily seven. We have to look at the smaller numbers. See two, four, six. This would be in between the six and the eight, which actually is seven. So this would be seven feet. And then if we zoom in on the little inch section, I think I moved my scale a little bit. Oh, I think that ends on that little tiny line that's there. That little tiny line right
right there. So that means that represents a half of an inch. Which half is it? If we count the bigger lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this would be seven and a half. So our line represents seven feet, seven and a half inches. Okay, let's do another example here. If we choose, we have to choose a mark to line up on so that it ends in the little tiny section. So I'm lining up on this mark right here, but that, it, it kind of looks like a six. It's not a six. We gotta look at the smaller numbers. There's zero. This would actually be one, two. This would be three feet, three feet. And then we're gonna zoom in on the little inch section and I believe that it's actually lining up with this mark again right here. That's a full inch. That's not a little tiny line, so it's not a half. That's a full inch, and if we count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we're going to find out that that's 10 inches. So this little line would represent 3 feet. 10 inches in, well, in a half inch scale. I know this next one says try on your own, but I'd like to do one more example. So we're going to choose a mark to line up on. I'm going to choose that, this line, this mark right here, which is a six and it's <coughs> Actually, it's one of the smaller numbers, so it is a number that's on our half inch scale. So this is going to be six feet. And then if we zoom in on the inch section, I'm going to get my hand out of the way. Oh, oh it's moved. There you go. I'm thinking it lines up with that little tiny line that's right there. And it's this little tiny line. So we know that that's a half, that's a half inch right there. So we've got to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be eight and a half. Let me maybe get rid of my marks I put on there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This mark would be eight and a half. So this line would represent six feet, eight and a half inches in real life. Little inches. All right, I hope this little video will help you answer the questions on the quiz. There are five questions on the quiz. I know that the pictures that are on the quiz are going to be a little bit hard to see, so just do your best, and if you're close, you're still going to get credit for the question. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.